Marisha is able to laugh because she's had a stressful year. Joe Budden was awarded a gold plaque by the RIA earlier this week for his 2003 track Pump It Up. Even though the achievement came almost 21 years after the song's premiere, Young Miami didn't think it was worth celebrating. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. She responded to the news on X in a dubious way, making it obvious that she was unimpressed. Young Miami responded with a straightforward emoji set of laughing faces. Rather than challenge him straight on, Budden chose to give up completely. He wrote, it would be too easy. Maybe TMW law. Then, accusing him of being a bully, she scolded him for making fun of other people's successes, and said that she was giving him a taste of his own medicine. If Complex were to do a list of where all the female rappers rate Carisha, you would be last on the list. He has now, however, addressed the shade head-on in a podcast episode. He made it clear in an episode clip that he intends to maintain professionalism, and has no intention of disrespecting or calling Young Miami by name. He continued to tear up her career, saying she would be dead last on a list of the greatest female rappers. Button continued, saying he wasn't prepared for Young Miami to pursue him in this manner, especially in light of the problems with her label that she acknowledged on Kersha Please. Okay, why this man always, why he always picking on women? For obvious reasons, the read earned big reactions from social media users, including Tia Kemp. She took to Instagram Live to share her take on the debacle recently, siding with the former city girl. Kemp suggested that men in particular continue beefing with young Miami simply out of jealousy. Yeah, I think these men be mad that she had Diddy and they didn't. She explained. With all due respect, you are a pretty girl. Carisha Please, Young Miami's podcast, which had Saucy Santana interview her during this first episode, debuted in season two and included some much-awaited and contentious remarks about her relationship with Diddy. In case you were unaware, over the past few months, the bad boy mogul has been the target of numerous lawsuits and accusations including sex trafficking, abuse, harassment, harassment, and sexual assault. The Florida rapper talked about her experiences with Sean Combs and their final breakup, as well as why she remained mute during this flood. Sadly, though, not everyone finds her story compelling. Like, it's easy to create the, the, the idea of beauty. During his most recent livestream, DJ Academics, for instance, claimed that Miami went too far in this circumstance and did not respect herself enough, implying that she was merely thinking about relationships and relationship gimmicks. So what makes you special? Is it because you had some fame? No, Diddy's messed with way more famous women than you. And that she would eventually pay a price for it. Yeah, J-Lo, for God's sakes. What makes you special? Is it because you have some fire? you know what they say? DJ Academics concluded. A chick like Young Miami, she do everything. Put it like this, self-respect is the kryptonite of rich NS. Women, self-respect is the kryptonite of rich NS. They don't want to be around you when you're saying, ah, I'm not doing that. The women who are in the game, they know this, too. If you want to get in the game, first, you got to hit that plateau of how good you look. Once you're above the bar on how good you look, how far you go with these men in the industry will revolve around how little you say no. Matt Diddy when the world was celebrating him and giving him his flowers while he was alive. The former city girl, for instance, said that she was deeply hurt and shocked after watching the video of the bad boy mogul abusing Cassie in a hotel room. That was not my experience at all. She went on to say that her experiences with domestic abuse, abuse, or just bad relationships in general had nothing to do with Sean Combs. I've been in a toxic relationship before when I was younger, Young Miami told the outlet. In high school, my early 20, and they're not healthy. They're not fun. It's just I've been there, done that, and that's somewhere I would never want to put myself. Now, being 30 with two kids, that's something I don't condone or tolerate, something that I grew from. That's why I say that wasn't my experience with him because I wouldn't even put up with that again. I can't speak on something that wasn't my experience, and I can't speak on something that I don't know. Young Miami told Saucy Santana on Carisha Please. I can't speak on these allegations because I wasn't around at the time. I don't know that person, and that wasn't my experience. People feel like I was Diddy's biggest cheerleader and I made him my brand. And I feel like Diddy was on brand for me. I met him when he was in another era, Young Miami added. I met Diddy when the world was celebrating him and giving him his flowers when he was alive. He was getting the Global Icon Award, the Lifetime Achievement Award, the key to the city. He had a new album that was coming out, so I was celebrating him with the world. And I just feel like everybody's trying to crucify me for it. I was just celebrating when the world was celebrating him, so why am I being crucified, or why am I being separated?